oh my god this summer is like so hot i don't know i don't know about you guys but <laughs> a bottle of water no no coffee no bottles of water i'm walking around with this you know bladder full of water there's liters of waters on my back and i have this thing hose straight coming straight from my back and i can just drink anytime it's perfect when you're running or walking or hiking but it's also perfect when you're sitting home all day just knitting or cross stitching you don't have to get up at all you have all the water you need and you can just pull out the hose and take a sip hello everyone i'm back well today i'm back anyway how are everyone doing i hope you're doing fine i hope you're enjoying the summer i'm not I'm enjoying the day, the, the weeks off I have from work, but the heat, uh -uh, not for me. <laughs> I'm either sweating, and I hate that when it's too hot, or I'm freezing like hell, and I do that when it's too cold. So I'm kind of in between spring and fall. That's for me. Anyway, so I guess this will be floss tube number 51. I thought I was going to hit 100 this year, but a <laughs> no I'm not since I haven't been doing a floss tube since is it March February 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 I don't know isn't there someone else out there who has a problem saying February hmm isn't it cat I wonder I wonder anyway so I'm Linda for all of you out there who are new and newly subscribed, I'm amazed. I have still gotten a few subscribers, even though I haven't uploaded anything for quite a while. And for every one of you who still subscribes and who keeps coming back and who keeps sending me messages, thank you very much. I love you all so much. You do not know how much it is appreciated. Uh, so yeah, I'm Linda. I'm from Sweden. So the language is kind of, you know, as it is. Um, I'm usually talking a lot. Uh, so prepare for a long floss tube. And this episode, I will have to kind of merge cross stitching and the yarn pod stuff. Because... Um, it's been a while and I don't know if I if I want to continue with the yarn pod or if I should just kind of do like most of the floss tubers do out there just weave it all in within the floss tube episode I don't know we'll see we'll see if I will make I will make another episode but when and all that yada yada, yada. whatever we don't have to talk about the boring things and uh, <clears throat> For you who follow me on Instagram, saw the picture I uh, shared. I pulled out everything I wanted to talk about and all the things I have worked on during the past few months and the things I have bought. So prepare for a very long floss tube. And maybe I should make a part one and a part two. We'll see. Okay. But you could just fast forward as well. Uh, so, I don't have any notes or anything. I haven't prepared much except for, you know, pulling the things out. Um, I also want to apologize for all the background noise. There's, you know, it's summertime. There's a lot of people outside in the yard playing and all that. So, we'll just have to deal with it. Hopefully, the kids won't say any bad words. But they're pretty good at them. Um, my plan was, uh, since I have mainly been knitting this 
spring and summer. I have been cross stitching a little bit, but not, you know, as much as most of you guys are used to that I'm doing. Um, so I was thinking since I had a new start just a few weeks ago, the Grand Library by Amy Stewart and charted by Heaven and Earth Designs, I did get a little bit of feeling back for cross stitching and I started again. <laughs> my big big problem um, thinking about all the designs I want to work on and so I started downloading the patterns back to uh, my pattern keeper the patterns I felt like well these I want to get back to and it, it turned out to be like 24 of them no 22 and I want to start two more so I'm back to you know, the same place was at the end of last year. Want to stitch all the things and I don't have all the time. So we'll see because I don't want to, you know, I've talked about it before. I think that I don't want to, you know, feel bad about not being able to stitch on all the things. It stressed me out. So I already feel that stress. And also I want to say that I haven't watched a lot of floss tube the past few months and I haven't made any and there is a reason to it. And the reason is that it's so damn enabling to watch floss tube. And seriously, I don't know how the rest of the floss tubers manage. I don't know how they can afford all the things they buy and show week after week after week. I don't get it. I can't and that is also like a reason I don't feel like watching floss tube too much but I did start now again this summer when I went off work and I was like well I can watch a little bit of floss tube and within a few days I had made a huge order at traditional stitches and I'm like yeah I can't watch floss tube <laughs> it's not good for my econo economy so for all of you who are watching and who hasn't gotten any comments from me on your floss tubes i'm sorry but i have really needed to stay off floss tube it might sound a bit you know fun but i think some of you understand uh, the enabling and it is a bit dangerous sometimes for me it is because i have trouble saying no um so anyway back to what i was starting talking about uh 22 of the the full coverage whips uh, i downloaded to pattern keeper and i was thinking let's revisit them so it will not be this huge whip parade which i had last summer and i know a lot of people out there are you know doing some whip parades in the summer which i think is great so you don't have to watch all of them around new year um, but it will be like a small whip parade so it will be like i will show you at least well 22 full coverage whips that i feel like working on and then i'm going to show you some of the other things cross stitch stuffs i have some haul from nashville you know which happened in mars march and um i was dying to show everyone you know i pre-ordered i was so hyped and you know i had to wait a month before i got the things and then all that joy and excitement is like gone. So I was like, well, I'm not going to do that again. <laughs> nope. And then we have all the yarn stuff and that's a lot because I'm so seriously addicted to yarn. So you just have to, yeah, I need to show them. And I know some of you, especially Therese, would like to see so i will show you that too but i will take that in the end maybe that will be the part two so you don't have to watch that if you're not interested now let's take another sip of that water the 
that's good. Good. Okay. So I have a share, share, chair here with a big IKEA bag with all the full coverage things. And I will start showing you that. So it won't be, no, I will show you my new start first. Okay. Let's do the fun thing first. So the grand li library, <clears throat> I was so hyped. I had been waiting for this pattern to be released. I asked in heaven and earth group when, you know, estimated time of release. I was blocked because of that question. I have no freaking idea why, why? <laughs> because that was a pattern request, which I found very strange because Amy Stewart had told us that it was sent for um, charting. And I have seen other people in the group asking about uh, patterns after my question. So yeah, for every day that passes, I am less heaven and earth fan for every day that goes, I'm sorry, but they need to uh, start considering how to keep their customers. But I was hyped when the Grand Library was released and then I had to wait another week for the Super Sized to be released. And then it was impossible to get 25 count easy guide fabric in Sweden. And then I tried to get, get it in Italy because I didn't want to pay any taxes and import fees. And then it told me you have to wait 45 days. So I started waiting a couple of weeks and then I asked in the Swedish heaven and earth group, isn't there any place in Sweden we can get this damn fabric? <laughs> And they said, well, yeah, head over to Borei Koyen, which I did. And she had the magic guide. I love this fabric. It's my favorite. It's just that it's 20 by 20. But since I was planning to stitch the Grand Library as Ninja, Needle Ninja, 10 stitching over 20, 20 grid, 20 by 20 grid. So so I still had to wait. She said it was on back order. So I had to wait a couple of weeks, I think it was. So I was so late to the start. And again, you know, that hype thing is gone. So at first I was like, should I start it? You know, I don't know. But then I started it. I enjoyed the very organized way of tent stitching and parking like Needle Ninja. So I've enjoyed it a lot. So this is my start and progress so far. I started, um, I think it was my first vacation day, which was around the 20th of June or something like that, I think, around there. And uh, yeah, I, th I was planning on finishing. This is a page finish, but it takes a while to stitch like one row at a time like that and then park it. So. I was like, let's just do the floss tube and then I can stitch later on. So I have a lot of part threads here. It's double, it's two th threads over one. Um, yeah, it's so cool. You can see here, she, you can actually see that she's holding a torch. So, but this is the famous first page which most of us will finish. And then the big question is, should I continue to page number two or should I visit some of my old whips? That's the big question. So 25 count, 10 stitching using two threads over one. Amy Stewart, Grand Library. It's the supersized max color. Um, <clears throat> And for that, where did I put that? Ah, over here. Hold please. I try different thread organizings. 
and for my grand library i'm using these floor, floss bleh, <laughs> floss organizers i have five of them uh, since it's a uh, max color i need five i think you can have 50 colors on one so there's a place for 250 i think and uh, yeah i pull threads from my main um what you call dmc stash i have a full set of it so i pull threads from there and then i just have it in this paper box from ikea so i'm trying out different things um to i just realized i had forgotten one 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 um, have i oh please okay i'm back there were two whips I had have in a different cabinet for some reason. But let's just get started on the whip, mini whip parade. So this is one of my bookshelves I would like to revisit. And I have this kind of floss organizer for it. Um, this is um the fantastic voyage i think it's called it's the supersized and it is the regular colors and as you can see i'm doing it on like a grayish fabric and i'm gritting it with some fish line and parking so it's just the top corner but that would be nice to you know at least have a page finish would be cool and these kinds of floss organizers i have ordered from a place in the uk through etsy um yeah i don't remember the name of it so ask if you want to know I'm just going to throw the things over there. And then, oh, this huge project. This is my, well, yeah, you know, the Fantastic Voyage. It's Amy Stewart, by Heaven and Earth. Yeah. So this is another bookshelf. And this is my um, a Stitch in Time, the stitching shelf and the awesome project bag and floss organizer is made by kylie in canada sweet sweet kylie who gifted me this and it's just she's just way too sweet and kind um and she has her own store this is my start on a stitching shelf i hope this is not uh, mirrored so not huge but it's um 25 count easy guide and you can see i'm parking i think i'm doing the 20 by 30 stitching area i think so let me look in the back oh you want to see it back horrific but who cares nobody's gonna see that anyway Anyway, um, yes, I'm parking. It's a full cross with and one thread. Lots of confetti. I'm going to show you that project bag a little bit better. I still have her note. So... Oh, this is so cool. Huge. With the vinyl front. It's so cool. And then, because I said I wanted one of those floss organizers for a f max color, because my stitching shelf is a super sized max color, and she made one for me. And I have all the threads in here. I can open it here and show you. I have it like this. 
So that is also some uh, a bookshelf I want to revisit. Um, <clears throat> I'm not sure if I'm like needing a page finish, but like another row would be nice to kind of get done. Oh, and if there's a lot of noises and crinkling and you know, all the zippers and everything, I'm sorry. I will do my best not to make too many noises. Like so. Next is also a super sized Max Color. Yes, I'm in love with them. And I will never ever be able to finish any of them because they are so huge. <laughs> but the next one is the North American animals, North American mammals. And my start on this is amazing. Are you ready? Yeah. And this is the one I really want to get back to because I'm seeing uh, Celia, a Norwegian girl on Instagram. I've seen her progress and it looks so amazing. Um, I know Darren, this is stitcher is also stitching on this. Um, so I really, really want to get back to this. And um, that design is a Ciro Machetti, Ciro Manchetti, or something like that. And it has like more or less most of my favorite animals in the design. So, so cool. And I have it in this kind of project bag. And you can see I have all the threads, I have all the organizers, plastic bags everything in here and also a reason why I feel like I would like to organize these things. Okay. And um, the North American animals there is stitched on uh, 25 count too. Um, it's a full cross. It's uh, one over one. And yeah, it's a heaven and earth. Yeah. And then we have the heaven and earth sign. I have most progress on, I think it's most, I think it's more than, anyway, percentage wise. So it's my mini Dragon in the Morning by Randall Spangler. Um, I've been trying to diagonal stitch it and I'm, 10 stitching it, if you can see, and it's a pretty good coverage on this thing. And huge mistake there, but hey, <laughs> shit happens sometimes. Um, yeah, 10 stitching with two threads over one. Randall Spangler Mini Dragon in the Morning on 25 count easy guide. If you don't have a Spangler in your rotation, you should get it because the colors are just amazing and uh, the dragons, the draglings are so, so sweet. So I would highly recommend having a Spangler, at least one. In your rotation and why I feel like really getting back to this one I have a few started but I would like to finish this one really I would now we can take a look at another whip it's a like it's a stitch along or a start along 
me and Kat from Cat Talks, head over to our channel. She's great, amazing, and she does a lot of Dimensions and Mill Hill. So if you love to watch that, head over to her. Her, she is doing this cool vlog kind of floss tube. So it's really cool. She made this bag for me when we started this Animal Kingdom stitch along. And it is a super sized and it's max colors. And she has gotten very far. I haven't, but I have a little bit of progress. And this is it. I started in the bottom right corner uh, and I'm stick stitching upward. So I have all the part threads like this, you know. I won't do that again, I think. I don't like that, but yeah, you will do on this one. Uh, whoops, I hope I'm not shaking the camera too much. Yeah, so I have all the threads in a paper box in zip bags. And then I'm using these kind of floss or organizers. I have bought them on Etsy and I really like these. And it was Laura Gr on Flosstube who recommended these. And I'm so grateful that she did because they're so, so good. Um, yeah, what else? 25 count, full cross, one over one, and yeah, parking. <clears throat> so that's that. Now I'm going to show you a couple of my Gecko Rouge. So it's a UK based uh, company and they only sell kits. And in the kits, they don't tell you which DMC color it is. So that's like the minus. Otherwise, they have great, 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 great um, kits. So the latest one I got from them is Falco. And I'm sorry about the crinkling. And now when I look at it, I just feel like starting it. And today, is, you said you always choose uh, designs with <laughs> dull colors. Well, this is uh, not the kind of colors I usually go for, but I just, the last year when they released it as a pre-order, like they sell 10 or 20 kits kits uh, for people and I couldn't afford it then and I was like well I just have to wait, wait one year and then get it later when it's released for everyone I just had to get it so I, I oh I just love it it's a little bit like um, uh, the Hunger Games Katniss kind of in my mind you know um, and this is on, it's actually on 28 count. I have no start, so I need to search the edges and get started. So it's not, it's not, uh, it's not a huge piece. I mean, it's not so bad. Uh, yeah. And I'm going to show you the threads as well. You get your threads like this and you have a needle there. So it's very nice, really nice. Love their kits, um, not kits, kits. Um, what I wanted to say about this is nothing, 28 count. One, I'm going to do cross stitching one over one. I want to say I have, I'm going to show you that later on, uh, the shelf life. Um, I made uh, an unboxing or unpacking of one of those Gecko Rouge kits. It's like a huge kit. So head over 
to watch that. And the um, designer or artist is Medusa Dollmaker. Second latest Geko Rouge, which is also a Medusa Dollmaker, is the Dracula. Dracula. I love Dracula. Also huge, wonderful thread kit and there's so much dust in it. I'm gonna start sneezing. A matching needle minder. I did start this. Ta-da! <laughs> yeah, not so much, but it's a start and I started in the middle. I'm doing full crosses, one over one. It's on 28 count. Why is it on 28 count, you say? Well, there's a lot of black in this design, but there was, you know, kind of a price difference. So I decided to go for 28 count because it was a lot cheaper. Now let's head into the Ikea bag. We have a project bag and what do we have in it? I think it is my fairy tale. The super size with max colors. Super sized. I haven't really done that much. This is my progress. And this is my absolute favorite bookshelf. I totally, totally love it. And I think I could stick with this one. Um, yeah, I thought I would love the library just as much, but I don't. The, the fairy tale, this fairy tale design is so special. Yeah, very special. I'm really enjoying it once I s stitch on it. And again, I'm using these great organizers <clears throat> now we have a pain-free crafts whip which I would like to keep on stitching on it is my first pain-free I'm so sad the UK is not in the European Union because I would buy so much more from Cake Rouge and Pain Free Crafts and uh, Sarah and Simon are great, doing such great patterns and she has opened her own store now. It's so cool. It's so amazing. I'm so happy for her. Uh, it's amazing to see how a one person company is growing like that. It's just amazing. So keep some supporting her. Um, yeah, it's my dragon. It's my Kraken dragon. And these designs are just, you know, perfect size if you don't want it too big. <laughs> um, so I haven't done too much. I think I've done a little bit since the last time. I'm not sure, but I'm still in the center of the kit. It's on 25 count. I'm doing full crosses one over one. And this is how it's going to look like. And for this kit, I got one of the thread, um, not organizer, but like a project bag. So you can put your floss cards here and protect them. Handmade bag with the Scottish print. Really nice. So I'm looking forward to Putting in some threads on this as well. Let's have a drink break. Ah. Okay. What's next? And I'm having some threads in a floss organizer. I have some floss cards. And this is the one I made the unboxing on. So if you like to watch those things, this is just the main. There are 
two or three more of just with just threads. It's huge. We just I love these giant, giant projects. There is another one with the world map. Yeah. It's not, it's not gonna happen. Don't worry. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. <laughs> and I just have a little, little start. And this is Colleen Thompson's artwork. And this is just the top left corner. And you guys are telling me this is a boat. I think I can see that it's boat, but it's very difficult to see. Anyway, this would be nice to come back and finish the next room. As you can see, I mean, the fabric is uh, never ending. Never ending. Uh, this is on 25 count. Um, one over one. I hope there wasn't a needle in there because it's gone now. It's a gecko rouge. Yeah. Colleen Thompson has one which is called Yest Yesterday's Treasures. I like that one a lot. It's a real struggle. And then we have a third comp company, which is not Heaven and Earth, which is also has full coverage. There's a lot of, there's Artisy, there's uh, Thread Geeks has a lot of stuff. Um, and then you have Gek Rouge, you have Pain Free Crafts, and then you have Unconventional Cross Stitch. And I got a couple of um, designs from them as well. That it's an Australian company, but the one I want to go back to is the Beauty Will Save the World. They have great prices. It's a small. This it's a small uh, project, and I started in the middle. She's beautiful so beautiful and you can uh, head over to instagram and watch kylie's progress she has made her eye it looks so amazing it's on 25 count and i've told you before started in, in the middle and i'm like kind of stitching in a spiral around like this and that's very enjoyable i might change that because i think uh, it might get a bit bulky in the back so we'll see and maybe you know i can stitch in a um, in a spiral but instead of finishing threads all the time i can just park it somewhere this is my super sized max color heaven and earth grand master by what's his name <laughs> pitch it pitch it something you all know the ducks the ducks let's see which is back in front this is the back so uh, i'm extreme cross country stitching this thing Hui. oh oh that was yeah you can see his face anyway um and uh i started with uh the whitish white whitish whitish this white it's uh 3865 or something i started with that because there was most uh, stitches with that color and then i did have i made that yet uh light blue color i think you can see it better i'm not sure it doesn't matter but I'm also dying to get back to this to to stitch with another color, and that's uh, the next color has about five thousand something, so it's not so much. I know it's absolutely doable within a month, for sure. Uh, yeah, I love the ducks, the ducks, and this is one that. Uh, <clears throat> uh, the Grandmaster is one of the supersized max colors I ordered. Um, yeah, you know, asked for a special service. And there's another one, Grandmaster 2, I think. I've also asked for that once. 
and yeah I'm not going there I'm not going and this is one of the few designs it's stitched on 25 count by the way full cross one thread over one and this is one of the few designs that I got the whole kit from heaven and earth and I like their kits their kits a lot uh, they laminate their floss cards which uh, is good they won't break and they also put um, the floss on these plastic rings which is pretty damn nice in my opinion <clears throat> and I've learned uh, for like um, pain-free crafts or um, Gecko Rouge where you get floss cards and they're not laminated but someone told me to get these rings for those uh, paper floss cards and though they will prevent the cards to break so highly recommend that but no I'm not buying any more kits from heaven and earth because of the shipping and taxing and all that what is next I have more or less all my bookshelves so I know this is a bookshelf it's a super size and it's max color and it is the secret garden by Amy Stewart oh oh I just love this this is one of my absolute favorite bookshelves there are if you want happy colors get the secret garden oh it's so beautiful but it's so confetti heavy it's insane i'm i'm parking this thing <sighs> yeah it's really confetti heavy but it's so beautiful there is one girl on instagram she she has this in in her rotation and she is making such great progress and it's looking so good it's um i'm following so many on instagram so i don't know all the names so please don't ask um but i just love to watch other people's progress and you know you get so inspired to to you know get your own out and start stitching so a page finish on this would be so nice did i say 25 count full cross one over one yeah i think i did most of them are what do we have here this is ah, yes it is aqua city by Cyril Manchetti and I will have to do like this I think because I'm extreme cross-country stitching in this thing it is the regular size but it is max colors and I've done all the black and I'm 10 stitching it as well which is dangerous when you're uh, full coverage no extreme uh, country uh, extreme cross-country stitching it because it's very easy to miscount i think it is 25 count yes so i will put it close you can see it's 10 stitching and you see the coverage you can see the background when i'm like getting real close but just i'm like 30 centimeters away from you and you can you can tell that this is 10 stitching on 25 count because someone you know has said that about my my grand library and i agree that you can see the fabric in the back uh, but i don't like it when it gets bulky and difficult uh, to stitch you know you have to if you have like 50 color changes within a square or 70 color changes it gets bulky it really does and the bigger count you have the more difficult it will be to get that needle through 
So that's why I like to stitch on 25 count, especially the supersized. But I think that there's a difference in tightness of the fabric on the easy guide. And to show you the magic guide. Okay, you can see the fabric here either, but I th you can see it a lot more than you can on this fabric. So consider that when you choose fabric and you want a 10 stitch or if you're worried about coverage, but don't. I think it, the process is more important than the result, but I think you all know me by now. So, and yeah, so I'm full uh, extreme cross country stitching that, is, I don't know, how many years was it ago? Two, three, three, three years, I think. So when I started, I started a few of these and I was crazy about the extreme cross country stitching because it looks so cool. So um, the next color is um, 996 to fill in. So it will be a great contrast with the black and the blue. So it would be nice to get back to that as well. And the good thing with extreme cross country stitching, if you are very uh, careful with the counting, is that you don't have to get the whole floss packed. You know, you don't have to, you can just pick that one color, get the three skeins, whatever it takes. And you don't have to worry about getting, you know, more or all, everything. Because three skeins, even in Sweden, that would be like uh, 30, 45, $5 for the three skeins. It's still, you know, doable. It's not, you, you won't get poor or anything, but if you get the whole kit for a super size, it would be like 500, no, $400, you know? So it's big, huge difference. I'm rambling, I know. Take a look at the next project. We're getting to the end, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think there are seven more, eight with this. So this is another bookshelf. <clears throat> And this is my world travel bookshelf. It's the super sized and it's regular colors. Um, and it's also one of those heaven and earth kits I got way back. And I have made, I think it's eight pages. It's very, very nice. It's on a white count. It was before Easy Guide came along. And I'm greeting it myself and to tell you where I learned about the fish threads was by, um, man, I hate when I lose words. I'm getting old. Um, mm -mm -mm. Nikki, Nikki at on floss tube. She might, I know she thinks I'm stalking her. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, but I love her stitching. So, uh, but the, this is how I learned about using thin floss tube many, many, many years back when we didn't have floss tube or Facebook or anything. We just had the bulletin board and her blog, which I read. It would be nice to, you know, just come a little bit more ahead forward, not a whole page, but just, you know, get started on the next page. So you don't have to look at the same eight pages all the time. It's just ugh. so boring to see those top left corners. First I say, I love watching everyone's progress and then I'm like, it's so boring to watch them, but I'm thinking about my own. Don't, don't take it personal. Sometimes I speak before I think. Oh, by the way, have you seen that I have, I rearranged a little bit on my wall for this floss tube, I actually got my two finished samplers, which I love. I was one, one number away from winning the real 
antique sampler, but hey, hey. So this is on one of my favorites and I hate myself for not have, for not have done more than I have done. This is the top left corner. Oh my God, look at these colors. They're, they're on fire. My God. And this is way back when I used floss bags to, to, you know, take care of my part threads. Oh my God. And I was using waist knots and the back look really good. Yes, when you do that. This is on 25 count, you know, the white stuff. Yeah. I was just thinking maybe I should just make a super sized and make a new request. But I've gotten quite a lot. I wonder how many pages this is. One, two. Could it be five pages? No, I'm not going to start it. Or should I? No. Anyway, Julie Bell Vallejo. Yeah, started many years ago. And this, this design was one of those 100 page, you know, before we got Pattern Keeper and all this. It was a big one. I don't know if they made the 700 sizes first. I just remember Trick or Treat and this one. They were uh, a bit bigger uh, charts than the regular sizes. And I remember going way crazy for this. Uh, there's, as you can see on the pictures here, there's like a big naked woman and I love stitching skin and the shadows in the skin and all that. I like that a lot. Um, so it would be nice to get a little bit, bit more done on this. And then we have Internal Promise, Eternal Promise by Matt Stewart. It's stitched on 28 count. I started it last year, I think, in May. And it's this top left corner. And it's so beautiful. It's full cross. One over one, and it's just beautiful. Oh, yeah, it's just it's the Lord of the Rings. It's um, Ariel and Aragon making their promise to each other. It's so beautiful. And uh, yeah, who doesn't like Lord of the Rings? Do not raise your hands. <laughs> so yeah, it would be nice to continue. It would be nice to go beyond if there's like a big frame around them. So to actually get to the background would be nice. This, oh my God. I think all of them are my favorites. This is also like a super favorite. This is on 28, 28 count, easy guide. I also started last year in, um, May and this is in the the bottom left corner and the plan is to do extreme cross country stitch it. This is the Watchman by Lisa Parker. It's the super sized max color. So I think there is like 106 colors. It's huge. It's with the two crows. And when you fill out, you search all the black stitches in Pattern Keeper. It's so cool, they look so cool. But I don't know if I should just do all the black first. There, I think there's like 500,000 or 600,000 stitches of black, seriously. Or if I should start putting in some other colors in here. But I think there's, is it 8,000 stitches here or more? I don't know, but it's so nice. Oh. And the cover, which on 28 count, is insane. So I really want to get back to this one as well. Surprise, surprise. And still, you know, in my mind, I just want to knit. Really, knit, 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 knit. I wish I didn't have to work. Then 
I could stitch and knit all day. And for this, I got one of the DMC cones, not the biggest one, but I think mm, one of these cones equals 59, 50, 53, somewhere around there, uh, skeins. So that's a lot of black. Looking at the size of the fabric, it's a super sized for sure. It's a super sized max color. It's the uh, museum shelf. And uh, which way? I don't know which way is up or down. Um, it's either like this. Let me see. Either this or the other way. I'm not sure, but it's not a problem. You, I can see on <clears throat> my pattern keeper which one. And I will not continue. I started as a spiral with this as well, but I'm not going to continue with that no but i will i don't know which way i'm gonna <laughs> gonna go but i think it will get way too bulky and not so good in in the back so we'll see we'll see but the museum shelf is really cool oh i'm over an hour we have so much more to look at and a lot of my um projects I don't have all the threads sometimes I have bought thread kits from the UK when they were still in the European Union but a lot of them I just get some floss organizers and then pull threads from my main set we have my last gecko rouge and this is also a Medusa doll maker and it's the amazing gamer and I did make a start last year when I received her and I really enjoy stitching her so I want to get back uh, I started in the center uh, upper piece it's on 25 count uh, full cross and I took the advice from Nikki to get to the text it says gamer on top of her head over her head because it was confetti heavy and then the back is a lot of you know just same same so she told me to jump between the two to not you know get bored and tired with it so that is why I started it like this and I'm really enjoying that and as you can see you know it's a smaller project it's not gonna be so big so it's very doable and there's a lot of people stitching the gamer it's I think I can say it's the one they are selling the most of yes here we have my October project I've stitched on it in the month of Halloween and it is a quick stitch but it is a big quick stitch a regular size hint it's not super sized or anything but a quick stitch for me should be like four six nine pages just a small piece of the big design but here they have taken a piece from the treasure hunt bookshelf by amy stewart and made it as a quick stitch but they enlarged it so much so it is a regular size and it is max color and I'm also extreme cross-country stitching this thing and I finished two colors I think so this is definitely a plan for October to bring out again to start the next uh, color and I will show you it's a full cross you can see the the black and the blue it, from a distance you don't see it that well but you can see there's a castle 
in the background and you can see the horse here and then there's a door yeah it's really cool everyone was stitching treasure hunt it was the first bookshelf that came out and it's many years ago and so many started it and i just never did so but i did start a quick stitch so again if you don't feel like like for example the grand library or something you don't have to stitch the whole shebang you can just choose a quick stitch if you have a favorite part in the design you can stitch that and that is really cool i've already taken the next color aside <clears throat> and it is or am i lying i think it is 3371 and then it's 823 so i'm also really looking forward to that but i think in october i'm, I'm going to get this one out the project bag for mini dragon in the morning and i've already showed you that oh and i'm sorry the quick stitch from treasure hunt bookshelf is called qs spooky house i think and it's on 25 count magic guide last one no it's an empty fabric piece and that brings us to the two starts Cyril Manchetti and Heaven and Earth released again something I just couldn't resist. I'm saying this is the last one I'm buying. I don't like Heaven and Earth anymore. And then I'm like, oh, I have to have that one too. But I'm not buying as many as I did. I still have my wish list. I still want everything in my wish list. But The Dark Jungle by Cyril Manchetti was released. And I was like, oh my God god it looks so good and the regular size first i went in i look at it you know i'm showing you here how it looks and uh i think the the cropped uh, uh, picture looked quite nice actually and i'm thinking you know when you see it from a distance it's gonna look amazing and i'm like but yeah i was talking with cat about it a little bit i knew she wanted it and i'm like well i want it as a super sized and max color but i didn't want to order that because we're not gonna go there we're not gonna go there i'm gonna i'm not gonna talk about that um however it was released as a super sized max color the same day the big sale oh my god did you get anything in the sale if you got anything in the sale put it down in the comments below i want to know um so uh i gave a, um a pattern away i was like no i was thinking about it i don't know if i want the super sized or not i was debating with myself and you know do i really want another super sized so I was comparing the two crops on and off, on and off, on and off all the time. And I must say that I didn't see any difference. Can you? If Please, I would really like to know, but it looks like it's the same thing. So I went with the normal, regular and regular uh, colors. But it would be really cool to start it. But I would like to have like floss organizers for it and uh, or I would prefer to just have a thread kit but I don't want to buy it now um, I don't know but yes I have actually had three of these so I do have or you know I just actually need to pull thread from my from my main set and I'm good to go. The Dark Jungle. There is a stitch along starting or a start along starting. No, it's a stitch along starting on the 1st of December this year. Uh, it's an event over at Dizzy Stitchers group. So if 
you want to start it or if you have started it and you want some company head over and join the the event over there um i know they have zoom calls everything i'm too i just feel very shy so i haven't joined there yet i really do want to maybe one day yeah um so i might start then the first of december yeah so i will give it a th thought but i also know that it's a lot of knitting stuff going on at that time so we'll see um and the other one i really really want to start and i want to do extreme cross-country stitching on this is this with the uh, odin and uh, friga um frig friga i don't know how you pronounce her name um it's actually one of the super size max colors i have asked for some time ago it was it's one of those designs which no one really it's not so popular i guess so i knew i would have to wait forever to get it before i forget i have to what was the name albert one of my followers told me a few months ago about a electric stitch frame and floor stand electric you get a drum tight fit it works with your millennium frames it works with your omenic frames and uh, she told me about it i didn't watch anything then because i was like all floss tube i have ninja watched all the videos about the albert stand and frame you guys, you have to go check this out. She says it's amazing. She says it's worth, worth every single cent. It's quite expensive. I thought you get, I think you get the whole kit for 900 something euros. So it's quite pricey, but it's electric and it looks really awesome it really does uh, i was like maybe i should try to save up for this thing but uh i don't know how much you know space it takes it's metal i think but um yeah i would really like to just shout out that frame and floor stand if you're looking that is, uh, and if you can afford such a stand, uh, I think it, it would be a great buy, really. Hmm. So I just wanted to say that before I forgot <laughs> forgot about it. So I've showed all my, you know, uh, full coverage whips, which I want to revisit the coming time. But I don't know if I should continue with page two on the Grand Library or if I should just... As I said, I really want to get back to the North American animals and my grandmaster. And you should go what, with what your heart says, I think. So, yes, um, I will take a little break here. Maybe this is like part one. And um, I will go on with part two in just a little bit um, to show you some of the other cross stitching I have done and which I'm collecting and enjoying and we'll do the haul as well then okay so see you in a bit bye